I've been talking about the Alberta NDP's unconstitutional tax on beer for over a year now. Over the course of that year, a lot has happened. And in a nutshell, the government has changed the way that they tax beer twice now, and it's illegal. The first time, they hiked the price of imports outside of Alberta, BC and Saskatchewan by up to $1.20 per litre. Why did they leave BC and Saskatchewan out? Well, it was because they have a trade agreement with those provinces. That got them landed in court by Steam Whistle Brewery based in Ontario, who claimed that this was an unfair advantage for other brewers outside of that trade agreement. Then the NDP doubled down and made the increase consistent for everyone to avoid their day in court, including Alberta breweries. But then they offered those local breweries grants to cover the cost of the tax. That landed them yet another court case from Great West Brewery, based in Saskatchewan, on the basis that Alberta breweries are at an advantage, and there's also an agreement on internal trade complaint that's being handled by the Canadian Constitution Foundation. And earlier this week, I caught up with lawyer Derek Frum to chat about the issues. You may have noticed that the price of beer has gone up and that selection has been reduced in Alberta's beer market recently. And this is because the government of Alberta has brought in an unconstitutional and illegal beer tax and is refunding some of that tax back to brewers locally. Now this is unconstitutional, it's contrary to Section 121 of the Constitution Act 1867, and it's also contrary to Alberta's trade, uh, trade obligations under the Agreement on Internal Trade. And so the Canadian Constitution Foundation is going to be arguing on behalf of Artisan Ales, a local import agency, supporting their position that this is, this is an unconstitutional and contrary to AIT uh, provision in Alberta policy. He also told me why Albertans should be concerned about this unconstitutional tax here. What's happened is many of the beers from elsewhere in Canada, so beer from outside of Alberta, have experienced a huge tax increase. For instance, some beers from Quebec, world-class beers that beer geeks from Alberta look forward to and want to consume and purchase. The tax on these has gone up by 525% in some cases, so that the government is making more money on these products than the importers are. This is outrageous because what it does is it makes it almost impossible to sell these products in the province. So who loses? Well, consumers lose out because suddenly the product is far more expensive. So a six pack that may have cost $19 before for a premium world-class beer is now $25. Consumers don't like paying that. The difference between 20 and $25 is enormous. Well, it also impacts on bars because bars used to sell pints of these premium beers at a price point where consumers would pay. Now a pint might cost $10 or more. You can't sell these beers. So as a result, these beers are disappearing from the province and they're not moving as quickly on the shelves. So the freshness of these products is also compromised. So here's who loses. Artisan Ales, who imported very good beers from elsewhere in Canada has experienced a huge decline in their profitability. Now this is an Alberta business. This is the sort of business that this government says they want to encourage. They are being harmed irreparably by this. Well, other local businesses are being harmed. Those that sell these products. It is very difficult to sell premium beers now. Alberta used to have an advantage. We had the Alberta advantage here because we had the freest beer market in Canada and we had amongst the lowest taxes. Now, our taxes are the highest and it's harming these businesses. But in the end, the ultimate loser, the one who loses the most here, is the beer consumer. Because the, now, these consumers, they're stuck with less selection, higher prices, and a product that isn't as fresh. Everyone loses. This is not good for Alberta. You know, every province in Canada has these types of protectionist measures, and the response from the supporters of these measures is usually, every other province does it, so why can't we? So I asked Derek to explain his response to that. Well, the sad fact is, other provinces don't do the same. What we are doing is unique in Canada. We're trying to build a firewall around Alberta to keep everyone else out. 
Other provinces don't do that. They may make it difficult for you to get your product listed in, other, in their jurisdiction, but they don't make it economically impossible to do so. They may offer advantages for local people, for local producers. Well, and you know what? The Constitution and the AIT don't necessarily say that is wrong. What is wrong here is that Alberta is violating both the Constitution and the Agreement on Internal Trade. Now, the Constitution is binding in Alberta. They have no choice. But what's really embarrassing to this government is that the AIT, the Agreement on Internal Trade, is something that they have voluntarily agreed to do, and they're not following it. So while other provinces do have their own issues, Alberta also has a big issue, and it's problematic here. We need to solve this problem here, and then we can worry about other jurisdictions. But in the meantime, let's make sure that our government lives up to its own rules and follows the rules it has set for itself. The government has had its hand in choosing what kind of beer you're drinking in Alberta, and it's unconstitutional. That's just crazy. And not only is this protectionist tax costing beer drinkers, businesses and breweries, these court cases are also being paid for by you, the taxpayer. Derek tells me that if you're interested in showing your support, the CCF is having an event at 6 p.m. on March 22nd at Bottle Screw Bills right here in Calgary. Tickets are $40 and are counted as a donation so you'll get a tax receipt along with it. Plus, your first beer is on them. For more information about the Artisan Ales AIT Challenge and that event, you can visit the CCF's website at theccf.ca. For The Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. If you support free trade in Canada, don't forget to stop by beerfreedom.ca. Show your support for breaking down trade barriers like the NDP's unconstitutional beer tax.